I yeah. Start, doesn't your flesh start rotting like almost immediately after death? Yeah, and then you know the uh, the the mortuary people they're able to kind of delay it for a little bit with uh, with the, what is it formaldehyde and mm-hmm. and you know all bombing the, fluid. a bombing fluid and all the all the makeup and everything, but and then eventually just starts boo boo boo, you know. And Unless you're like frozen. Yeah. Now the, there have been some cases where the preservation was incredible, and they mm-hmm. look exactly the same. They did that; they died. You know, they go back years later. Mm-hmm. Uh, w- one of uh, Martin Luther King's um, friends or uh, com- confidants, or someone that he worked with during the civil rights movement, he was also assassinated. Mm-hmm. Uh, he died. So this was like mid '60s, and then they cracked open his uh, coffin because his son was very young, never got to know him, and and. For, I think they were either moving his grave, or maybe the son just wanted to see his father. I'm gonna hope they're moving the grave, and he just doesn't like dig him up. I want to see the rotting flesh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, well. Long story short, they opened up the coffin, and he he hadn't changed. He hmm. looked exactly the same as he did that they buried him. He did not. De- he did not decay whatsoever. It was incredible. It was a really incredible thing. I don't want to be embalmed. No. Why not? Because I want to be cremated. Uh, so that's that's what I said. I don't waste be the money. Yeah, I want to be cremated because I don't want to be put out on display. I don't really want to do that. I've got to just like make a big list of what I want upon my death, yeah. so that it gets done, and so that people don't feel bad. Right. It's weird. I work in media, but I like to just be private when I'm not doing media stuff. You know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. I don't I don't want to be like I'll talk to you all now until two in the morning. But then I go home, and, and I'm not going to talk to you until <laughs> next Friday. Yeah, we're not your best friends. I know who your best friends are now. By your I, didn't, I didn't mean you all. I meant the public. Oh, no. No, I'll talk to you all. We only sometimes send messages in the Facebook. We do. Well, I mean, my, my Randa and I are the same way. Uh, the reason why we saw each other all the time is because we work together. Now she works elsewhere, and it's hard for us to keep up. We still keep up. But I mean, you know, she out of media now. She is. She well, no, she still does uh, extra work on, uh, or not extra, but she does. I wonder if she works with Ollie. Oh no, I don't think she. I does. wonder if they're linked and connected. I don't think she does. I I think I've mentioned Ollie to her, and he, got a she doesn't know. <laughs> she she got a certificate. She he gave her a certificate. He's like, I got an extra one from there. Mm-hmm. I'll give it to you. Um, no, she works like on the uh, those. Uh, Investigate, investigation discovery shows where she does, plays the reenactors, you know, because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they're shot right here in Knoxville at uh, Jupiter yeah. Entertainment and other places. I'm talking to Pork. I don't think he's listening. Okay. Oh, yeah. I heard you. you. I know you know. Uh, Pork, I don't know if he knew. But she does all that, and um, so she still does that but on the side, but she has a regular day-to-day job. Because Joshua Lampley, do you remember him? He used to work for the sports show here. Yeah, yeah, he used to do a lot with he, them. He worked as their booking agent for the longest time until mm-hmm. he moved to New York. Right. And, and I knew, you know, Henry from the 80s Rock Off, he, did, he was on one of those shows once oh. or twice, yeah. I forgot what he did, but yeah, he was on those shows. Yeah, it was a few years. It was fairly it's recent. Fairly, last couple of years. But anyway, getting back to the Von Kosel story. <laughs> so, we were, sorry. A we need big to fin- roundabout there. We need to finish that. Uh, so, he, t- he kidnaps the body. He starts preserving it at home. He starts, you know. In weird, ma- creepy Weird way. ways. He, wow. make, he makes a wig out of out of her hair to put back on her head. As their hair falls out, he makes a wig to put on her. Then he makes wax. A he wax pours w- wax all over her skull. On her skull and, her, and, her, and as much as the body that it would take to create a new face for her. Uh, and, and, yes, he implanted a tube down there so that he could do that. Mm-mm. Creepy stuff. Yeah. Now Do that we got that out of the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's on Wikipedia. When they found her. Oh, yeah. Look. It's Wikipedia. How did they find her? Um. So know. well, because the. Uh, I feel the like fa- you probably wouldn't turn yourself in. No, the, the family didn't know what happened. They they knew that the the grave had been robbed, and then he moved away. So they were pretty sure that he had something to do with it, and they finally tracked him down. And the sister went to his home and says. Where, what did you do with my sister's body? And he was like, oh, it's upstairs. <laughs> and she went up there and found her. I'm not kidding. Oh, he's upstairs. Oh, she's upstairs. Yeah, there it is. There's the body. After he got a hold of her? Uh, that's what he, yeah, that's what he turned her into right there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This creepy, is, that's creepy what she stuff. Looked, that's what she looked like. At, in, in Happy Martin Luther King Day, by the way, guys. Before yeah, they took it away. For, for real. And then that's what he made her to look like. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah, he she he was holding her ribs together with piano wire. 
Uh, yeah, it was sick. Like, there's the glass eyes they were putting. She was putting in her face. It's it's not a great story. Um, I mean, if you're if you're a sucker for love stories, I guess this is one really really warped one. But uh, but yeah, that's Carl von Kosel, and um, he did a lot of bad things. <laughs> Eh, he was just in love. He, he, but he, he did, was just in love. He was a bad, bad man, though. He, he. I mean, was that the only thing he did? Uh, well, I mean, isn't that enough? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's enough, I think. I think he loved her. Oh no, he loved her. That goes without saying. But damn. Like, a I weird would, way of showing it. I wouldn't want to be stuffed in captive. Kevin did that, but. Well, that's what that's what I told Pork. It's would like, you, would you feel like a? Would you look down from heaven and go like, "Oh, yeah, exactly." You wanna, are you just you didn't want me to leave? Would oh. you be like, I would probably like stop it. That's gross. Oh, look, my Take arm it. fell off, and you're trying to put I it know. back on with piano wire. Oh, look at you and your duct tape uses. Yeah. Um. See, it's just gross. It's just gross. But I wouldn't say that you're a bad person for it. Cause, I mean, no, I mean, no you're just sick. His heart you're sick. was. Uh, we'll put it to you this way: his heart was in the right place. We just don't know where his brain was. Mm-hmm. That's that's what it boils down to. But maybe to. seeing so many people die like snapped his his reality understanding. Well, I, work, hey, that was an epidemic. It was an epidemic, but I mean, I I don't think I would take a body home. <laughs> I don't know. As a souvenir, <laughs> I don't think I would do that. Yeah, I, mean, I think I would just quit. I would quit my job as a doctor. Yeah. Like I'm taking a break. Yeah. I'd be like, Can't we out. This anymore. Peace. He did. He just brought the body with them. <laughs> like all right time to change locations we all have hobbies <laughs> exactly we all collect things Ooh. some of us just collect weirder things than others <laughs> it's just his collection yeah some people collect boogers uh, some you know some people collect stamps some people collect you know model cars this guy collected a body why not just one body but he so. did a, and he did a lot of work to it he, it was a model that he kept he kept yeah, the upkeep he worked on it, on it he kept the upkeep upkeep on it or wherever that girl is now, because when they took the body away, they put it in an undisclosed location. Oh. Wherever she is now, I hope she's resting in peace. Away from Carl Van Kossel. He's dead now. But. They're probably in heaven, because she's like, you love me so out. much. No, she probably, probably has a heavenly restraining order. <laughs> God's so, like, you, yeah. can't, you helped enough tuberculosis people, we got to yeah. let you in, but like, but you like, can't go near her. You see, this, <laughs> you see her over there? You can't go within 400 feet. Thank